Welcome to The Knowledge Broker. I'm Tara Chisholm. We're back with our trusted lender, Floyd McGee, to talk about different loan types available for vacation home buyers. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me again. So, Floyd, as you know, most of the buyers that we work with in the Enchanted Circle are vacation home buyers. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about how a vacation home loan differs from a primary home? Sure. So, a vacation home loan, um, the only real difference is the down payment. They need 10% down typically to do that. Um, Most of them are going to be a conventional loan since it's not a primary occupancy loan. So it's going to be conventional with 10% down. The rate is usually about an eighth higher than a primary. So not a big bump in the rate. Um, in terms of the underwriting guidelines, the, the lender is going to look for some liquidity, make sure that now that we're adding another mortgage payment potentially to their debt, that the borrower can handle that, that they've got some reserves in their account, three to six months depending. Um, and then the rest of it's the same for as a primary, you know, good job history, good credit, those kinds of things. Credit score for a second home, vacation home buyer is, uh, since they are going to go conventional, typically a little higher than on a primary where there's lots of options. Um, so, so a little bit stricter guidelines, but it's really not that different. Okay, great. And many of our vacation home buyers want to rent their property. Right. You know, VRBO and Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Does this affect their loan type in any way? So as long as they're going to occupy it a part of the year, that's, the, that's Fannie Mae's rule is that you're going to occupy it a part of the year, it's a second home or a vacation home. They can still rent it out short term as long as they don't become part of a rental pool that limits their, their use of it where they don't have control over it anymore, then it's still a second home. If they're going to buy it and strictly rent it out 100% of the time and never occupy it, then it becomes a rental uh, investment property with uh, 20% down restrictions or 25% down. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. We see a lot of misinformation out there about vacation home versus investment property yeah, when it bet. comes to the loan. So thank you for sharing your knowledge. Of course. If you have questions or topics that you would like us to cover in the future, please comment below and we'll see you next time on The Knowledge Broker.